the cost of eggs these days, you wonder, is it worth it to have your own laying hens to have fresh eggs at home? Come on in and do the math with me. Let's get straight to it. The cost of eggs. We all know the cost of eggs has gone up. I'm sure you've seen some of the memes that are going around Facebook and other social medias regarding the cost. Hey mama, have you got an egg for us? I know you like to sit. Do you? Are you sitting on an egg? There it is. There's our sixth egg of the day. Six girls, six eggs. Oh. It's not even warm anymore. She's just sitting there for the heck of it. Although I'm not wearing my eggs as bling, I'm sure I could get more for them than I am right now. We have six laying hens. We got them from Frey's Hatchery and the breed we have is called Sasso Ivory and Sasso Scarlet. We have three of each. They started laying eggs about six months old and they're laying an egg per day. So a bag of feed lasts us five weeks for those six girls. So that's, I'll do the math on that, that's 35 days. 35 days times six eggs per day is 210 eggs. 210 eggs is 17 and a half dozen. I'm going to reduce that down for the math because sometimes you'll drop an egg or sometimes a girl won't lay one and, and we'll give or take a few so we're down to 17 dozen eggs. In Ontario the price of eggs varies. I've seen 488, 548 and 728 as the extremes and middle range of those prices. So I've done the averaging to be 588 per dozen. Most people have the mindset that you can get eggs for five dollars a dozen. That works out to be 49 cents per egg. So if we've got 17 dozen eggs at five dollars a dozen, that's 85 dollars worth of eggs. We're rich! We've won the lottery! <laughs> and that is over the course of five weeks. Now to do the, the feed cost into this equation. Our feed is about 28 to 30 dollars a bag and it's a 25 kilo bag which is 55 pounds. If we get organic it's 50 pounds, it's a little bit less. But one bag is lasting us for five weeks. So I round that $28 up to $30 just for the ease of math and if I've got $85 worth of eggs that means I'm $55 to the good. And if you do that math for 17 dozen eggs that's 15 cents an egg compared to, what was the other one? 49 cents per egg. I think that's a huge difference. So now we're down to here. In Ontario, the, the farm gate laws say that we are not allowed to sell off of our property. We're not allowed to take them and deliver them. We're not allowed to sell them to storefronts. We're not even allowed to donate these to, um, the, to the food banks. But if someone comes to my driveway and wants to buy eggs, I can sell them. So I sell about three dozen eggs every five weeks and people are offering five dollars per dozen. So that's making up fifteen dollars worth of my egg cost. So if we take that price of fifty five dollars to the good and we add back that fifteen dollars in sales, we're now seventy dollars to the good and we still have fourteen dozen eggs that we get to consume. So when I do the math down this way, that $30 cost for feed and recouping that $15 sold, that means our eggs now cost us $15 for those entire five weeks. And the math works out to be seven and a half cents per egg. Is it worth it to raise your own chickens so that you have farm fresh eggs at seven cents per egg? abso stinking lootly $15? That's only three dozen eggs in the grocery store. But for us, that's 14 dozen eggs. I did not calculate in the cost of building the coop, the original cost of the chicks, or feeding them for six months, uh, the cost of the hardware like the feeder and waterer and fencing, or the pine shavings. But even if I counted in the shavings, a bag of shavings is less than ten dollars and I only need one every fifteen weeks. 
we use the deep litter method. So the size of our coop, we throw in a bag of shavings. It's a four by eight coop. Uh, we throw in a bag of shavings and that we just stir that up and it keeps fresh. It doesn't smell. The chickens are not in, in dampness or moisture. They're healthy. And uh, we get to put that on our garden later. And that or still works out to be less than $3.50 a month. So the original cost of the eggs was $30 for the feed. And if we add $3.50 for the shavings, that's $33.50. You do the math on dividing those eggs down, it's still $0.16 cents an egg is our cost. $0.49 cents compared to $0.16, cents, it's still a no-brainer to me. So are these fluffy butts worth it? Is it worth it to raise your own chickens so that you can have farm fresh eggs? There's a few things to consider. One is how many people do you have to serve? How many eggs are you going to need a week or a month? Are you allowed to have them by bylaw in your town, in your area, on your property? Does your lifestyle allow for chickens? You have to be home with them at least every once every 24 hours. You can get automatic chicken doors and you can fill a feeder and walk away from the feeder but you don't want to be away for more than just a couple of days. You'd have to arrange for someone to come in and, and check on them and open and close the, the coop at night. Are you willing to go out there and stir the bedding every now and then? Are you willing to go out daily and make sure that they're healthy and the, and the feed is full and, and you know collecting eggs? Are you up to raising the animals? Are you up to the risk are you up to the risk of losing a few to predators? And you accept that that's part of having livestock. These are not little pets that you're going to have running around your house. And it's easy to fall for these critters. They're so adorable. They're like little feathered dinosaurs running around. They're so cute. Are you going to be able to resist chicken math? That is, oh, I'm just going to get two or three more. Oh, they're so cute. I can't resist. I want some with the green eggs. I want some with the blue eggs. I want some that have got blue legs. I've got some that I want some that are black. I want some that are are rainbow colored. Are you going to be able to resist all of that? Chicken math is real. <laughs> oh, do you have dogs? Are your dogs going to be okay with chickens? Or do you have to keep the chickens completely penned up? Are you do you have property for them to free range? And then again, the predator risk. Do you have the square footage to put in a coop that's going to allow these animals to live their best life and then provide you with the best quality eggs? There's so many things to consider. Jumping into, a, into livestock is not something to be taken lightly. For me, it's 100% worth it to have chickens. I'm actually looking at getting some more so I can have some chickens for our freezer. Uh, that means having to process them, harvest them, and process them. But uh, that's something I'm willing to learn. Not everyone can do that. You decide for yourself. But make sure that you take this, this decision seriously. It's not something to jump in quickly. Uh, it, it's a huge savings after the initial investment. Don't forget to like this video. Give us a thumbs up. It helps YouTube see us just a little bit more. And uh, subscribe and share and, and all that fun stuff. See ya.